Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. For today's video I decided to show you how I tackled a Washji mystery puzzle. So my puzzle, usually they come with a complete image, minus at the back. I don't know why my front only has this ball, fortune teller ball with a piece of the image. But yeah, for the most part I work from this not that there's much to work off of and uh, only later realized that yeah, there's a picture of the image at the back um for the mystery puzzles what happens is that you don't puzzle what's on the picture so that picture only gives you an indication of what's going on you puzzle what happens in the future so in a couple of minutes time from here seconds i don't know it can be not too long if i look at the image definitely not too long so you need to puzzle what happens after this what happens here so for the mystery puzzles in that sense it is a little bit easier than the original and the destiny puzzles the destiny was puzzles you have to complete the image as it is way in the future so it is a a whole lot of years that pass between the picture on the box and the picture that you actually puzzle and the original was g puzzles um you picture what somebody in the image sees so for instance i don't have it here now i did one um with the car so the car is driving so there's somebody from the side of the road and you picture what that person's or what they see behind the car that's in the middle of the road so that's a whole different point of view so in my opinion the mystery puzzles of the wasjis is definitely the easier ones as there's a lot of clues on this puzzle as what is about to happen the room usually stays the same so there's not much that's going to change with regards to the room and the background so in this specific one's case everything is the same um except something happened and there's a bit of change in the image so without further delay just be aware there's spoiler alert if you are planning on doing this puzzle please don't watch any further but um, I'm going to talk to you about how I tackled this mystery puzzle. And um, once you get into it, this is the most fun puzzles to assemble. I enjoy them so much. Um, the mystery, the destiny and the original Washi puzzles is just of my favorite. I do these for absolute fun, especially after I did difficult giant puzzles. Then this is my, my palette cleanser. And I just refresh with a nice fun puzzle. So without further delay, here's the, the process of um, assembling this puzzle. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you next time. Washji mystery puzzle number two. Stop the clock. So I flipped all the pieces and took out the edge pieces, which is what I usually do for a smaller piece count puzzle. So um, it just gives you a sense of what you have to work with and then you've got the edge to start with. So immediately, yeah, I saw that there is a lot of blue pieces and it's a solid color blue. There's no variations in that blue. So my immediate thought here is to take out all the blue, even if it's only to make that pile somewhat smaller and um, then see what we can do with the balance. But then again, if I go to this side, there's also a lot of blue edge pieces. So I'm thinking that um, maybe I can start with the blue. It's definitely not the easiest part of the puzzle, but... Um, doable um, you could also leave that blue for the end the very last to go in but I think I might get it out of the way so yeah then start with the edge initially I didn't know which part go where so just put together what you can and eventually 
you will be able to determine if it's top, bottom, left, right, where the, all the pieces should go. So there's um, that blue piece. And I'm thinking, yes, definitely start with the blue. Start with the pink. The pink is also quite distinguishable from the balance of the, the pieces. So yeah, I'm going to take out blue and pink. Okay, so the pink went in quite well. Um, easy enough, there was no problem. There's a lot of pink left, but indicated to me that there's somewhere else in the puzzle also pink um, of this jewelry cases that um, will go in. The blue was um, definitely the most difficult part of the puzzle, but it went in well enough, and I'm glad I got those out of the way. Then you will see there's a piece of blue that doesn't fit in this corner. For the longest time, I didn't know where it um, went. But um, now that I've got the back of the box available to me, I know that that is the lady behind the desk's um, skirt. But yeah, I started with blue, started with pink. There's some pink left. And I'll get them in soon enough. Still two edge pieces missing, but I'll find them. I took out more colors that fit together. There's more pink. I got some pink hair together there. There's some yellow pieces that looks like it could be a sign, which I later determined was the welcome mat. Some clock pieces. And the reds. Now the reds, I think, go in this corner here. And um, I will do between pink and red next. And I will just put together whatever I can from this little piles that I took out. You can see the colors that's left is no more blues and pinks and red dominance. So that should be all of the pinks and reds. So the hair of that lady came in. Yellows. For the longest time I thought that was um, melted cheese. But yeah, it's a dancing lady figurine. There's a banana, which at that point I didn't know where it went. And that curvy yellow lines that I thought was um, a mirror or something. And then the welcome mat. The clocks. And some of these odds and ends pieces that came together. But I don't know where they went yet. And there's the big blue jacket. So yeah, small pieces here and there coming together. I'm now going to start with that brown, the brown of the clocks, the wood, and that pinkish brown panel here at the left hand corner. So let's take out all the brown pieces. Starting to assemble the browns. There's some more pink pieces that came together. And what I noticed is that piece should be part of this oak's hair. Which means that that piece of the fall over frame should connect with that edge piece there. So I'm just going to make some space here. Move them out of the way. Get that piece in place. And just like that, I've got a couple of pieces connected to each other and to the edge, which will make um, filling in that gaps a lot easier. So that is um, the start of progress. Continuing on the brown. 
that uh, one clock has that wooden flowers which was quite tricky because you couldn't really see from the picture which flowers went which direction so it was trial and error to get them to fit so the brown came on nicely so no more red pieces in the pile and I'm still shorting so there I realized okay that piece should fill in the hair and again I've got a piece that's connected to each other and the edge making that corner a little bit fuller still that banana and yellow curve that I don't know where they go yet continuing on the brown filling up all the clocks cabinets wooden panels So there's some more browns, the clock came together nicely, pieces missing here and there, this corner is filling up, so yeah the picture is starting to take shape, some clocks here, for now I'm going to look for that building pieces um, behind the door which also includes signage on the door but I couldn't find too many pieces so you'll see it's only a small part that came together so there's some blue so there's more blue in the pile which is a different blue from the jacket so I will take them out and try to fill up that what I assume was a poster but then I realized there's also a car on the other side of the puzzle behind the door, which you can see through the door. And then that yellow curve also got a place as the lines in the road. There's another piece that connected to the puzzle. Some more that came together. A lot of the clocks is complete. The door view is taking shape. There's the brown shoes of the robber. That blue I don't know yet. So for now I'm going to look for that grey pants and the yellow pants um, pieces. See if I can put those together. I couldn't find too many of the grey pieces but um, I did manage to get a lot of the yellow so the grey I will fill up later you can see there's some pieces missing but the yellow a big chunk of that is um, assembled so the banana got its place so now I realize what's happening there Next, I took out the top, that jacket of the robber, that green, uh, blue and white stripes. Took that out, assembled most part of the shirt of the robber. Still a few pieces left there. That blue piece there, I'm not quite sure yet. Other than that, pieces coming along very nicely starting to connect to more pieces mostly gray green and white left so I will start with the greens next start to fill up that um, walls at the back and after that I will also pick through the gray see if I can fill up the floor there, the blue piece is that lady got her place there at the edge of the puzzle. Greens are mostly in the 
gray shirt got completed mostly So from here it's only starting to pick through the pieces. You will start recognizing what goes where at this point. Um, that bag with the stolen jewelry got completed. And um, all that odds, odds and ends puzzle pieces that was missing started to fill up. A lot of the grays got in. Mostly the whites were left for the lost stretch because there was three white shirts and it was at first glance not easy to determine which shirt belonged to which piece or which piece belongs to which shirt. So you will see the white goes in very close to the end. But yeah, pick and place, pick and look, recognize place. So there's the last four pieces, one, two, oh, three pieces, last three pieces, fun, 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 I enjoy these puzzles so much, mystery puzzles definitely the easier of the YG puzzles because you've got a lot of detail to work from the original picture, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.